As you visit from site to site, have you ever noticed that a lot of the pages start to look the same after a while? I think this is due to the extensive use of templates, these pre-designed layouts in which a user only need add their content, they call it a website and they call it a day. My name's Peter, owner of Tilrat Web Design, and it's my humble opinion that each website should strive to have something unique about it. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you about border images. I'm going to show you how to use gradients and images to make your borders pop, make people stop and want to look at your page. So with that introduction, let's get started. So in the CodePen app, I've set up a mock page that has three cards. Uh, typical what you see on any website, the three cards, uh, white with a off-white background and a box shadow. Nothing terribly exciting about those. You see them everywhere. So let's make ours pop by adding a border. Specifically, we're going to use the border image property today. And this can take both uh, gradients and actual images. So we're going to start out with a linear gradient. We're just going to put our three colors in red, pink, and maroon, and you'll see that nothing happens because you have to add these additional values. You have to add a value for the image slice. That's the very least you have to add, but then you can add slash uh, image width, border image outset, and image repeat. So this video won't go into great detail about how to use each of those. It's just to show you that they exist and you can put them in uh, different numbers in and see what comes out makes a good pattern. So in our second one here, we're just going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to use a linear gradient, but we're going to add some color stops. So we're adding our red uh, 33%, our pink to 33% to 66%, and then the maroon from 66% to 100%. And then we'll add that slice amount. We'll use a 20% amount and then make our, our border 20 uh, pixels wide. And that's the result you get. And if you saw my gradient video a few weeks back, you know we can change the angle on those, so that's what it looks like with a 45 degree angle. And in our third box, we're just going to place some more. We're going to use a repeating linear gradient. We're going to use those same colors, red, pink, and maroon. Uh, we'll put those 20 pixels and let it repeat. Again, you see nothing happens until you add these slice values and you can add a width value to make it show up a little better. So there we go. That looks pretty cool. And as I mentioned, in addition to uh, gradients, we can also do this with actual images. So let's go over here to the code pen, what they offer from Unsplash. We'll just pick this one here. Uh, you copy it and then you paste it in and just include some values for the uh, slice and the border width. And there you go. You can see that this uh, image is taken around the border of our element. So it looks kind of cool. Uh, you can again adjust the numbers, adjust the different settings and see what you come out with. So that's about it for this week's uh, video. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time.